All right, boys and girls. So I'm going to show you uh, a few things of the marking rubric for Alice. Um, this is very important because this marking rubric will determine what grade you get for your animation. And I know a lot of you are going to be doing some great work on this. So um, if you understand the rubric, it'll guide your animation. The first thing is it's broken up into three areas. This includes the story plan. It includes the coding element and the scene editor. Within these main criteria, there's the grading that you could get. This includes a highly commended, that's an A grade. A commended is a B grade. Satisfactory is C grade. Below satisfactory is D and an F or a not a pass at all is an incomplete. So let's have a look at what it's asking you. So the first thing in the story plan is that you construct your key ideas. Everything that you have about your story needs to be in this story plan. Also, the story plan allows you to produce code. So it needs to give you a path so you can work out what coding blocks you need for your animation. And finally, that your animation allows for an introduction, a setting, that you have obviously characters, maybe some speech, and a theme. And I'm going to highlight this because this is really important. Every story normally has a theme. It could be a story about a hero. It could be a story about um, uh, an event that's happened it could be a story about um, some friendship that uh, and the adventures of that friendship it could be a story about school uh, a range of things but it has to have a central idea and that's the theme so your animation has to have this as well so to get a really good mark in your story plan you would need to have really good writing and that it's detailed. So it can't just be one sentence. I've said that in all our classes. It has to be at least a few sentences for each question to have a chance of getting this. A lot of students have asked, what does a line mean? A line means connects, that your story plan is easily seen to connect with your animation. If you do a story plan about a an event, maybe it's a sporting uh, game like uh, cricket, and then your animation was not about cricket at all. Instead, it was about a dragon and a character rescuing um, someone from the dragon. That doesn't connect. The story plan doesn't connect at all to your animation. So there is no chance you could get this mark. What about commended? It's fairly similar to highly commended. But notice the difference, good to detailed. Good is not detailed. Good is enough that I understand what's going on with your story. Again, it has to align to your produced animation. Both of these marks. This is a B grade, remember, and that's the A grade. The C grade, satisfactory. So, produces fair writing. If you had one sentence for each question, maybe you would get fair writing here. But you're taking a chance because that sentence may not be correct. So, you should put a few sentences in for each question. You need to have some key concepts of the story. So your animation and your story, some ideas, a few, they have to match. Below satisfactory, I hope nobody gets this mark. So this lists several points that may be related, but there's not enough detail in them. This is a key, not enough detail. And does not align. So your animation and story, they just don't connect together. 
that's what this would be. An incomplete is virtually that there is nothing written on your story plan at, at all. Has not completed the story plan. And because of that, your story plan has no correlation with your animation. There is no link. There is no connection at all. Okay. Coding. I'm going to highlight this. And I'm going to make it just for you briefly in a bigger font. This is important. This is worth 60% of your grade. There is no other area which is less important than the coding. If you have one object and you have many coding blocks, you'll get a better mark than if you only had one coding block and many objects. I hope that's clear. So to get a good mark in coding, you need to create code that enhances your animation. So you can put characters in Alice, but if they don't do anything, it's pointless. This is where the coding comes in. You use some of these commands. You don't have to use all of them. This one would be pretty common. Looping block as well would be common. This, maybe not so much, but that doesn't mean that you wouldn't use it. And do in order is a fairly generic, which means a fairly standard uh, coding block, which you will use. You could have more than these special blocks, but you need these blocks. And I've shown in other videos where they are in Alice. Lastly, that your coding shows me you can produce code in a logical out order that allows the correct telling of the story that you've made. That is very important, okay? It needs a link and that your code reflects it. So to get an A grade in coding, I'm gonna show you something. So you need to have excellent use of code. Excellent, right? To create movement which aligns to your story plan. Mastery, okay? What is mastery? Mastery of anything, to be a master is to be perfect or very, very close. That is what is going to give you an A grade here. Overall, your code produces an excellent animation. These three will give you the highly commended. For a B grade, it's similar. Well thought out code is not excellent code. It's close. Well thought out code may allow for many codes to be present, but some coding blocks may not be there. Also, it, the structure allows that your uh, animation, your movement, connects with the story you've made. And it, the difference here is a language. Being a master is you excel. Being good is that it's, it's very near, but it's not quite perfect or near perfect. It has to produce a good animation still to get a B grade. Satisfactory, a C grade. Competent. So what does competent mean? Competent means you can use some basic blocks and you make some movements or some characters speak. But that's pretty much it. This is, again, highlighted here. Basic. Right? You don't have a lot of code making a lot of objects do things. So by having just a basic movement and speech, you would get satisfactory. The animation still has to link with your story plan and it has to produce a competent animation. Okay, for here. Display is limited understanding and use of code to create object movement and speech. So what does that mean? Limited understanding. Your coding blocks don't match to what you want to do. For example, if you wanted to make your character walk or run and instead you um, had code 
that would change the size of your character, well, that doesn't match. So it shows me you have a limited understanding. Your animation is not connected to your story animation. So what that means is what you've made and what should happen, they don't align at all. Bit of a problem. I'll change that color actually because It's less highlighted. Okay, so it needs to be connecting and your animation and what you make has to be aligned. Your code produced creates limited animation. Have a look between this one and this one. There's a huge difference. This one, it's obvious. Your code shows me you don't understand what to do. And you produce little to no code. If your screen has two lines of code in your animation, you will get this mark. If you have one line of code in your entire animation, you will get this mark. If you have no codes in your animation, you will get this mark, which is the total F. This is a D grade, remember, C, B and A. I have only had very, very few students get this in the time that I did this a few years ago. I don't think that's gonna be you guys, but it's there so that you can be guided to getting marks in this group, A, B, or C. This tells you it's not logically ordered or you haven't really thought about what you're doing in your code. So that is for an E. I call it an F, but it's an E grade, right? So let's go to the last part, the setting. So setting an objects in the scene editor. This is worth 20% still important. So you use aspects of the scene editor to ugh, cut, go again, three, two, one. You use aspects of the scene editor and that includes the camera and object markers, right? Higher level animations will have camera markers. Okay, maybe not so much object markers, but camera markers will be there. So that there's different angles in your animation. How you place your objects, right? If you place five people together underneath one tree and they're all meant to be having a picnic, maybe that's not the best place for you to place your objects. That there's different sizes and they're moved in different areas. Also, this is important. I'm going to highlight it. If you decide not to use a blank slate, then, and you use a template, you are not gonna get a good mark. The whole idea is that I see a bit of your imagination, your creativity. And the only way you can do that is you create your own world using the blank slate option in Alice, which we've done in computers before. Also, that the objects selected match your story plan. This is really important. So, what are you gonna do? All right, so, there's evidence of a few things. Number one is there's evidence of high creativity. I can see how creative you've been, right? And that the placement of your objects in scenes, the placement of the objects you have in scenes are very much a part of, in order to get an A grade, you need to have high creativity. And that means that the placement of your objects, the features you use, and the particular purpose, all enhance your animation. So there's a reason you have everything on your Alice animation and the characters and objects are placed in their positions. Also, that if you wanna get B grade, do you notice it still says strong? Very similar, right? Uses a range of features as opposed to uses many. A range can be within a lot of choice. You may use, I don't know, six or seven out of 10. Many, maybe use nine out of 10. That's the key difference here. And again, it's to enhance your animation. Satisfactory. There you have evidence, 
right, of creativity. You've done some work to make the animation the setting. You've used some features of the scene editor, not all. So maybe you didn't use many camera markers here. It's still, you've used it to make an animation. The degrade, I can't see much creativity and where you've placed your objects is not necessarily the best thing for your animation. You use a few features of the scene editor. So you still need, even to get a degrade, you still have to put some objects in the animation. If you don't, you're then up to the E grade, the F. And this is that there's little to no evidence of creativity and appropriate object placement. Little to no evidence, right? I can't see anything that you've done in your animation, in the characters and the setting to show me that you've created something. Little to no features of the scene editor. So you haven't used any character placement, any camera markers, you haven't used any props, any backdrops, nothing. Again, very few people will end up with this mark. So, I hope this makes sense. Remember, coding is most important. Without this, your story plan and your setting will not work well together. So make sure you do all three. This will help. This is the most important. And this will guide these two. So you need to do your story plan as well. All right, boys and girls, I hope that makes sense in the marking rubric and if you have any questions, let me know. Okay, good luck, and I'll be sending more stuff out soon. Stay focused.